It is a beautiful Sunday afternoon here in Middle Tennessee and I wanted to show you my bulb and root haul that I got before we start planting them in the ground. In an effort to save money, I chose to get them as bulbs and roots and plant them in the ground so that they can grow versus buying them fully grown at the big box stores and spending twice or three times as much money. Let's see, I got, here are my daylilies that I got here. And then I got some echinacea. I got some toad lilies, some gladiola. These are blue sea holly. I got two different color peonies. I got some gorgeous dahlias. Lots of them. I love those flowers so much. That's my favorite looking pink. This is the one my daughter picked out. Let's see. I got some bleeding heart, some lily of the valley, a bearded iris, some ostrich ferns. I've also got some peacock orchids. And then I got some seeds as well. We got Mexican sunflower. I got it. Catnip, zinnias, some more zinnias, <laughs> and some gazanias. Most of those are going to go in my pollinator garden. Last year I got a wildflower mix that had Mexican sunflowers in it. The bees and butterflies absolutely love them, so I had to hunt down some seeds this year of just the Mexican sunflower so I can make sure I have it in my garden this year. So I'm going to pause this. We're going to go put the packages in the areas where we're going to plant them, and then we're going to start planting. Thank you, sir. Okay, I've distributed all of the packages of bulbs. They're not all going to go in tonight, today, but I wanted you to see where the, what the plan is, and I'm going to probably be working over the next couple of weeks trying to get them all on the ground. Uh, this garden here is going to have the echinacea. There's two roots in the bag, and I'm going to put them somewhere on this side of my glades garden. Here's the other one. Quick little walk over here to my tree garden. I got two different color peonies, a pink and then a dark pink, a soft pink and a hot pink. I'm going to put the hot pink here because that way it won't blend in with my pink flamingos. Over there I've got my Mexican petunia. Those don't come back so I'm going to dig that up and put one of the ostrich ferns right there. I've got my lily in the valley. My bleeding heart are going to go in here. Here's the other side. I've got the soft pink peony that's going to go in this area right here. There's not where I'm going to put the other fern and then the bearded iris to to continue on with the circle of irises that I already have coming up. This is the side of my house where I'm going to start planting daylilies. So as you can see here how I'm going to have the colors. Each bag has two roots so I'm going to alternate the colors so it's not like two, 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 two. Not sure. Coming around here. I'm planting the seeds for my zinnias and gazania and some Mexican sunflower here in this garden. I'm going to be put, I think I'm going to put the Mexican sunflower smack dab in the middle. I think that would look really pretty because those get pretty tall. Now here are my zinnias. I'm going to have zinnias all along this path right here. Now when I come to my pollinator garden, I have the pastel zinnias, and I'm going to put the orchid, peacock orchids in between. 
my blue my blue sea holly is a major pollinator so of course it's going in my pollinator garden this dahlia here is unique so I want to be able to see it from my bedroom window so it's going here and my gladiolas are going to take I'm going to plant those alongside here underneath my window because they get pretty tall and I think it'll look really good in the back this here is part of my major project as you can see the path is going to come out through here and in between this concrete paver sidewalk and the house I'm gonna build a little garden toad lilies like a little bit of morning Sun but other than that they're not too keen on rest of the day Sun so this area gets some morning Sun but then the rest the whole rest of the day it's shaded so I hopefully my toad lilies will grow really nice in here once I have a chance to dig up this garden and plant them and that's it Thank you for watching.